this is diseased or not this is the disease so we know the answer with the learning from the books and learning from practically but the machine how should we learn this and giving the answer that was the technology okay so before that uh, we know artificial intelligent technology how it was coming in 21st century so from our forefathers we are using by hand for showing seed harvesting processing everything by hands but nowadays we are using every operation in machineries but the machine should be operated by ourselves but in future without the human being involving to operate the machine that was the artificial intelligence how the artificial is going to be for agriculture so monitoring the weather monitoring and even seed drilling even plowing the land even for the pest and disease detection even the harvesting for the maturity index of the fruits this is ripe and or not usually we are observing and collecting the fruits but the machine the robotics how would they pick the right point one that was the very very crucial the machine how should know this is ripe and or not how going to train the machine that was the thing nowadays we want next level of agriculture so we are doing protected agriculture everything we need to monitor in pest and disease whether everything is a foremost important how we want to train how going to train the machine that was important okay so machine learning process the machine learning process is very very crucial okay so you know the ai technology so how learn the machine so by observing ourselves so classification is for most important which one we are going to train the machine that was the very very important questions okay so classification if you see the object detection so cat dog duck in from the image you should know this is cat this is dog this is duck so the machine should know this is dog this is this so we need to train the machine okay so how we are training our machine how we are linking the artificial intelligent technology to the banana okay so for example we are learning as a human being we are learning through photographs we are learning through objects but the machine we need to collect the images we need to label it this is dog this is cat then only the machine will learn and give an answer okay sometimes the machine going to confuse like our child while child good age we are confusing this is elephant this is cat so once we are learning 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 up to death we are not forgetting while showing the elephant you will answer it up to death you are yes it is elephant we are not changing that this is not dog okay same like we are collecting the images labeling and this is the foremost important for so train the machines how we are trained with the help of banana okay so this is a very recently we published in the august last five months back this is plant methods ai powered banana plant disease and pest detection okay so this is the real time app so you know that difference you know the difference between the app and the real time app so app this is giving information but real time app that is for artificial intelligent technology so they will give answer immediately that was the things okay so the background of our research you know the banana is the most popular fruit in the world in also the tropical region so how the novel methods for detection and disease as we know we are the biotechnologists are we are bioinformatics we take and the sample student to the laboratory and design the primers and 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 also after amplifying we are confirming yes the presence absence of the disease but the timely detection is the foremost important time consumption is very very important so that was the thing we used the deep conventional neural network that is a dcnn and also the transfer learning process so we successfully we trained our machine and given the feedback to the farmers so okay so this is the background so what we developed so we collected the image okay so we are collecting the first step is for the image collection so we collected more than 12000 images in different classes okay so then data labeling then labeled data we are splitting then we are validation 
and reconfirmance and performance of our app giving accuracy. That was the for most important. So if you look at this, most of the classification it is given more than 90 percentage accuracy. Okay, we will see step by step how we develop, how we validated, how we are giving the result. What's the thing? So we have the data sheet. We have 12,000 raw images and also 30,000 annotation and six models. Okay. So internationally, if you look out the banana having more, more fungal and bacterial and viral disease. Okay. So the first one is the banana sandamonas built is more prevalent in Africa. The fusarium built is worldwide is a major devastating disease and also banana bunjita virus and black cicatoka and yellow cicatoka, the leaf spot. Okay. For causing viral and bacterial and fungal disease and also pest magic pest problem is called weevil. So we know the disease but we know the plant is healthy or not. So that is, the, we need to collect the image is the foremost important and labeling is the foremost important. For the human knowledge should be converted into the artificial AI, the machine should be labeling. So the proper labeling will train, okay? So we know the fusarium wilt, okay? Everyone should know the disease and leaf spot and corn weevil and nematodes, okay? So you know the viral disease, the 100 percentage yield has, but the farmers doesn't know. They want recommendation, okay? So this is our data sheet. So we look over it, see, see the 12,000 images we collected. This is the original data, the current data sheet up to. So we collected images in different parts, okay? Entire plant, leaf, pseudo stem, fruit, cut fruit, comb, and rackies, and totally. So we collected the images and trained our machine is giving results, okay? So data is the foremost important for image collection. So how we collected the image, okay? So how we annotated, we'll look at it. So, so if we're collecting the image and we annotated in this, and also foremost important for the season is the foremost important, yeah. So the disease is never going to happen the whole year. So we need to wait and collect the images from the different seasons and different timings. This was the foremost important. So we, we 18 months, we collected, waited and collected the images and annotated, okay? Then we, we made the classification, okay? So six classification. So the root portion, whole plant scanning, and fruit cut, the stem cut, and fruit and leaf. So this was finally we derived the app with the help of TensorFlow. So we uh, developed the app. This app is six languages: okay, Spanish, English, and African language. And so Tamil. So first we given to the Tamil Nadu is the world number one for banana production and productivity. So we are targeting our Tamil Nadu farmers. Then we simultaneously now we are developing Hindi version for the whole India yes, use. But other things, we are other countries we are using multi languages. So look at this, this is the six classification, okay? This is the app, okay? So see, if you take this image, whatever it is, the background, keep it inside the machine to scan, immediately the plant is 83% healthy, okay? So if you select the whole plant, which portion you want to scan? So which portion you want to know the disease name? Other thing, otherwise the plant is healthy or not. Okay, first the machine will, uh, machine will focusing only will giving answer to, answer to the machine should answer to the banana. Okay, so this is the matrix model we made. So this is uh, one more thing. It is available for uh, freely available uh, in the Google Play Store for the betterment of the farming community. We are given freely to the app. So everyone should access access to the app. Okay. So okay, if you take how the detect the fusarium built, okay. So if you take the image, if you feed on the machine, okay, once you scan, see, see different kind of plants are there, soil is there, different kind of things are there. Only you detect so 96% this banana is affected by fusarium built. This plant is 67 percentage healthy. This plant is 54 percentage. So this is a two-step process. Once you scan it on the form itself, you know the disease name, you know the description and control measure. This is the on form itself. The machine will answer 
the questions okay not like that take the image and went to the internet and seeing the comparatively see the disease or not this one this one this one so the people will confuse itself the farmer should get the answer in the on farm itself to control messes okay and also if you cross cut the stem pseudo stem portion so feed on the machine it will tell yeah the pseudo stem is affected by the fusarium wilt okay that's a banana wilt yeah giving the recommendation and also take the leaf spot and also giving to the symptom that is yellow liquor sort of leaf spot is a internationally is a major problem then the major problem viral disease to the group of plants you take the image you will tell the bunch top or not the plant is how much has percentage even see the plant is 96 percentage is affected by viral disease but the it is giving the result and remaining plants are healthy 89 percentage and where it was how to control so so similarly it is giving the answer the on form itself okay and also the foremost important yeah one side we are bothering about the disease another side we want yield prediction okay so yield prediction is a foremost important whether the plant is healthy or not that was the big thing yeah see the if you take the images and feed on your machine in the leaf leaf set classification it is given the percentage your banana plant is healthily 95 percentage is healthily yes we can predict 10000 hectares if you collect the that collect the, the cultivate the banana so we need to yield prediction that is the foremost important so so control is for healthiness okay your plant is entirely healthy so yeah we developed we are validated our machine how it was working that was the big thing after collecting the data and training our machine and made the app then we are going to test very recently we tested the app in different parts of tamil nadu okay so we are visited so so i tested in kaimutur theni lawyer palani hills kolli hills and pachamalai with the different cultivars and different disease and different mobiles okay farmers they know they are not having well well equipped mobile phones they are having low version mobile phones so our machine should be work on different kind of mobile phones that was our thing so farmers point of view so we collected in different portion different parts and also we trained with our students yeah so my students are more foremost is back of my, my research so they are when you know very well our agriculture graduates are going for agriculture work experience i given to the app everybody installed and trained the farmers and also i went to the on farm field itself i trained the farmers also my students also the students they they did the very good testing the app and also given to the feedback yeah this is 99 percentage the app is giving and also the farmers different kind of places we given and recommendation using and also i am i am keeping for the 100 plants in my farm that is my college farm we have orchard so we have the projects we given to the topic to the projects the agriculture graduates they are per day they are collecting more than 1000 images in different mobile phone in different location in different angle and different lighting so they are collecting and we are now annotating and revalidation of our app is giving now it is giving accuracy so 94 98 193 so this is a very recently we unpublished this data very recently we got the testing accuracy at tamil nadu okay so so these things okay up to this we talk about mobile app how the mobile app going to help for the aerial monitoring system now we are going to see the very interestingly so the same thing now we are collecting images from okay through drones we are collecting the images and given our machine and train the machine now we are going to collect aerial images see the banana disease classification while taking the aerial images wherever the plant is infected okay see the image this is anthemonas wilt this is very we are recently we are working with an african partners they are taking drone images but india they are not allowing for taking drone images very shortly we are going to implement in india also and also this is kampala this is africa place aerially we can capture the plants so easily we can giving recommendation to the wherever the plants affected and also if and also our machine should to detect banana so many trees are there so many buildings are there so using sentinel so satellites we are get the space so 
This is the banana. The yellow portion is banana is cultivating. Wherever the banana is cultivating, we are mapping the bananas. So easily we can detect the disease. So the mobile app, the ground truth data, now it is helping for the satellite monitoring system. Okay. The farmers also can able to monitor the field and also we can label, we can mapping the field. We can monitor through aerially to whether the banana is infected or not. Okay. So this is the disease monitoring system we developed with the help of the ground truth data. The mobile is connected with the GPS. So we can detect world world to monitoring the banana disease detection as well as disease alert. So this is the disease monitoring system. And also in our India, we can use for crop insurance scheme and also how many acres we are cultivating banana. So yield prediction. So FAO website everywhere you can see the production productivity by raw data, but the help of disease monitor, this uh, satellite monitoring this system, we can yield prediction, crop monitoring system, and disease detection, we can give how the uh, IMD, that's Indian, I am giving the early warning, the warning system for uh, cyclone, similar like we can give the alert for disease alert to the banana. So this is the linking between the ground to data mobile application to drone to satellite. Okay, so I'm going to conclude Conclude our system. This is an automated mobile app to help the million banana farmers for the developing countries with the local languages. They can on farm itself. They know the disease. Okay. The finally, I am going to acknowledge for this. This is a platform, CGR platform. They are given to the big data. There is a big program is going on. So they are given the space for our data storage and also the these things we are working with the CIAT and Biodiversity International. So uh, keeping our data very safely. And also the foremost important and we thank to Tamil Nadu Bayana Grower Federation and Tamil Nadu Bayana Ilbana Grower Federation, their moral support for testing and collecting the data and the revalidation and do the farmers. Okay, finally, I am conclude this. Um, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm going to give demo now, real demo for the app. Shall I do? Yes, sir. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. Before, uh, can you take some questions, the basic questions from the students? Okay. 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 I think it would be nice to connect between the demo and the introduction, I guess. Okay. okay. So, uh, Divya will ask all the questions. Okay. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, so, uh, somebody asked, does this app provide preventive measures for the infection and the recommendations for fertilizers? Uh, no, no, this is for only pest and disease detection. Now we are adding for nutrition deficiency and nutrition recommendation also. This is exclusively for pest and disease detection. Uh, sir, you talked about this uh, drone survey, you know, of the pest and diseases. Yeah. So do you have any plans in the future to extend, uh, to find, to take a survey of the, the fertilizers or the, the soil content? The nutrient content available in the soil itself before yeah, you plant nutrition. like fresh banana. Yeah. Uh, so that is uh, we are we, we are linking with weather data. That is the foremost important weather data and soil nutrition status. Okay. So that will be helpful for this. And uh, what what no, the... we are we are we are now training our machine with nutrition deficiency. Okay, so major nutrition deficiency is banana is the potassium. Okay, so yes. through leaf they will express in potassium. Okay, if you get a deficiency, the soil is having nutrition uh, is less. Then farmers can able to apply the nutrition and also the micronutrition deficiency. Yeah. Okay, so another thing about uh, feeding the raw images. What is the minimum okay. requirement of the images to be fed into the app? for maximum accuracy yeah. no that is that that's why we collected images from different kind of mobiles low low pixel mobiles so okay our our app it will be helpful for all the farmers very low low quality images they will capture it they will train how can it also alter to the angles you know of the way they no, picture I mean, the, you don't, the images you don't, the shin about the angle does not know about the light it does not know about the background okay that is see now i am going to give them more i have my hand having banana see so and also i have fruits i will immediately i will demo it 
so the mission so would you would you keep uh, a feeding images from time to time whatever you get from the farmers yes 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 you, you can collect the images you can keep it as such in your mobile you can feed it you can directly go to the field with gps to join the gps they will give the recommendation this is a location okay location specific and also the yeah. uh, also the drones can uh, help help in the future in india yes 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 yeah we just uh, last uh, i think december after december i was i went to china after i came to india we talked to the tna vice chancellor also and also our dg icar so uh, the nrcb so we are going to mapping our tamil nadu and india so this mapping will helpful for global monitoring so yeah they are not allowing for drone to fly everywhere okay so sir, sir, sir I, i have one question can you tell us the technical in technical terms uh, in artificial intelligence which uh, whether this one include supervised learning or unsupervised learning or deep learning uh, how you collected the images and how many images you have uh, yeah. uh, like these technical uh, details maybe Uh, see this is the our original data sheet okay, okay. so okay. minimum minimum if you want to train your machine we you need uh, 700 or even 1200 images minimum 700 okay okay so the models uh, use these much data and uh, which type of machine learning you have used uh, supervised tensor flow tensor flow tensor flow okay and cnn net neural network okay okay why you have selected the tensor flow and uh neural networks uh, yeah so uh, we are uh, now with the train our machine and cnn and tensor flow this is full for offline mode okay this is they are working online mode the farmers offline mode also uh, they can able to detect the disease that's why okay okay, okay that is the main reason you have selected yeah. neural networks yeah, yeah. and tensor yes flow. yes Yeah. Okay, sir. okay. Did you have technical experts to uh, yeah, to collaborate, yeah, yeah. sir? Yeah, we have two computer engineer from CIAT. So, uh, five people, sir. We have one one from plant physiology, another from uh, biology scientist. I am from biotechnologies. So, it is link. We have two computer engineers. They have the studio. I will send the link. You know, get freely for annotation tools and also other uh, materials. Also, is there? They have one studio. thank you sir thank you and uh, another person asked that uh, he says that he has this pest attack in stem which is common yes. in his town so is he is asking whether it is possible to you know uh, to have this uh, to get the like to get an image of what he says so is it possible to get possibility of pest attack in stem without cutting the stem uh, without cutting see if you i will show the image so without cutting you can see outside image but destructive method is for most important yeah so that is uh, we'll doubt that is uh, now we are uh, training not like mri scanning you feed on our uh, body they will give the answer that will see, uh, there are lots of uh, epid- uh, epidemiological studies like to scan the outbreak or uh, in different crops uh, around the globe so you showed an image or uh, image across yes, the continents so do you have any plans in the future to actually record the outbreak of the, uh, certain banana diseases you know that is epidemic yeah that is now the globe. mapping the, now we are mapping mapping okay so, so the data if mapping you, yeah you, you, if you look out in africa so you know our near near by our continent Africa having banana sandomonas wilt. Okay, if you cut the banana, ooze out will come out, like our body. Mm-hmm. That is absent in India. Okay. One of the vulnerable disease in Africa, and also the fusarium. That is a fusarium. That is banana wilt. This is uh, we have four races. Now it is everywhere. It's spreading. Okay. Recently in uh, Australia, they are having banana blood disease. very recently we added our classification banana like our blood disease yeah if you cut the banana the blood will come out there are also on bacteria we've never uh, we've never studied probably in pathology on this yes I... yes 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 yeah. people xanthomonas we studied and 
Fusarium wilt is very common, uh, common disease, but we have not heard about this blood disease. Can you say a little bit of that? This is banana blood disease. This is one bacteria. This will go and affected by through insects while taking honey. While taking honey, the insect and birds, it will transmit through the male bud. It will go inside our body. So it is top to bottom or from while using the uh, what will you see the farm tools through farm tools also it will be affected the banana. Yeah, that is a banana red disease. Very, okay. big, very big problem in Australia. Bunched up virus. Through farm tools it spreads. Yeah, through farm tools they will spread. Oh, okay. That's a vulnerable disease. No, say banana sandamonas and banana blood disease and fusarium is a big problem worldwide traffic in race four. Race four is not even present in India, but very recently in Bigar in North, North India, they studied. So if you enter into our banana industry, it will completely will wipe out. Mm -hmm. So do you have uh, plans to do this data mapping according to the yes, geographical yes, zone, yes, according to yeah. the disease, according to the varieties, yeah. the cultivars, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially the bulbesium and the cuminator uh, yeah. family? Yeah, we talked with the NRC banana and also the Tenny farmers. They are doing granine. So we are going to mapping it and monitoring. That was the thing, future plan. It's a going ongoing process. We talked with our our DG, okay, Director General in Horticulture and ICR. They are very much interested in this project. This is going to be helpful for our farmers. Now it is a now they are mapping in Africa. So Africa is a map. There is a looks like there is a big scope for uh, epidemiological studies. Yes, yes, yes. Epidemiological yeah. Modeling and connecting that uh, data, uh, connecting all the data and uh, from artificial intelligence. Is, yes, is yes. going to be and also yes, for, for yield prediction that is the foremost important yield prediction and disease monitoring and crop insurance scheme you know where now the crop insurance india yes sir yeah yeah Without cultivating they are getting crop insurance this thing yeah. will come they, they will they will know real wherever the banana is growing even other crops also wherever they are growing so they will release the fund without cultivating the crops the farmers are getting crop insurance then only the loans will be waivered for those who grew. Yeah. Grew banana as such. So that's a really yeah. good initiative, sir. Somebody asked uh, the question, are you planning to study on some other plans as well in the future? So are you going to extend uh, in the future? Diversity. It is, continue, it is continue research. We are adding, no, no one more thing. So I will show this image. Okay, You are going to enter the hotel. Okay. The hotel, they will keep banana leaf. The leaf is infected or not for common people they will use that oh okay so if you are buying the banana this is which variety which is a nutrition so you know kadali and puvan they will confuse in your market kerala yes. rasta and normal rastali they will confuse the people will take the image we are now training our model for consumer preference and common people also mm -hmm. so not only in the growing part of it it is also in the consumer point of view yeah, supply right. chain management. All the harvest index, also the yes, quality yes, index yes. will all yes. be taken into account. Yeah, this is a, a big classification we are adding one by one. That's why our, our model is a big confusion model. Okay. We are trained so many images with the different country, different uh, inputs. That our machine is given answer 90 percentage first time test. A huge success, sir. When coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, is that much data we given. So I am, you know, past fifteen years I am collecting data, photos, images. That's now. Useful. Okay. Thank you very uh, much, sir. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we have. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Divya. We have one more question. We can take one more question from uh, Mr. Garvin. So uh, Garvin, you can unmute yourself and you can ask question. Uh, hi, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for this talk it's very nice so you were talking about the yield prediction can you can you uh, elaborate a bit on that and i had one more question um, for for the i think one one of those slides you were talking about the accuracy can you go to that slide as well yeah this one yeah. last data you got i think you recently 
the date i think yeah yeah tamil nadu yeah 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 i had like you on one second i can't see the yeah so correctly identified the disease so this is the accuracy so meaning that you are taking the pictures and yeah 100 percentage of this data is correct this is what yeah. we identified the disease yeah. so what is this mean average probability for disease de- detection yeah ah this is probability yeah this is uh, for mistakes sometimes the machine will be confused you know you know the problem uh, the black cicatoka and yellow cicatoka in india we have yellow cicatoka disease in africa they having black cicatoka disease okay, okay. sometimes the machine will confuse yeah what is this so that's why we are getting the 5.61.715.7 15.7 the percentage of mistakes okay so are now rectifying i i got that sir. so my question is between correctly identified the disease and average probability uh, this is over what direction i didn't uh, get yeah this, uh, this is for correctly identified but the finally finally yes this is the disease okay. that is the, yeah uh-huh. okay so ca- can you uh, uh, tell about the yield prediction yeah yield prediction you are planning to yeah if you if you if you look the banana you are planted this this is a 3 months old banana okay mm-hmm. you are monitoring through aerial yeah the all the plant plant banana plants are 3 months old after 4 months after 6 months how it will it's growing okay your banana is healthy 95 percentage your banana is growing 99 percentage yeah you know then th- you know 1000 banana is healthily 95 percentage means everything going to you good bunches okay so that's disease. why we are giving healthy can healthy class okay so based on the healthiness of the plant your yeah yield is it or yeah 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 see see if you if you this image wherever it is but so other plants are being healthy so we can immediate you can you know very well yeah this many bunches going to harvest from this month so yield pretty with the help of control that's a healthy classification that's why we are collecting and also we are collecting dried leaves also for whether when we are going to irrigate or not your plant going we are banana plants are the soil moisture is reduced that's why the plant is going to whether the drought so we can uh, drought prone area we can aerially monitoring this area drought prone area we can give the subsidies to the farmers that's why that class also now adding it's a mixed 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 one okay thank you thank you yeah there is a one last question sir uh, will okay, yeah. identify the gmp which is done to increase the production rate and maturation before time yeah yeah that no you know now everybody is in the tissue culture yeah that is mine my they will going to harvest everybody is knows that is one more thing also now we are ai it is going to link with the tissue culture part also from starting material to harvest you know the multiplication rate and primary secondary ordering the farmers they will go and buy the banana and the trays they will take the images 98 well trays we have you know the primary ordering you know article trays you know very well yes 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 you take the images wherever the leaf spot is there whether the all the bananas are healthy or not they will confidently they will take the banana and go so that also we are now training for artificial image for tissue culture tissue culture also yeah 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 that is next paper testing also next paper two more publication in online will come up okay sir you are looking for so, to do that yeah february month i got the award this is the best paper award in international forum in banana yes, sir. definitely definitely so now you can actually i think go ahead with the demonstration yeah okay okay yeah uh, but before i just want to have one uh, have one question whether it's already Uh, coming to the commercial i mean whether we can access this app yes it is freely available in play store okay, oh, okay. only 5mb only and and, and uh, if you don't mind uh, can you give us some detail about uh, how much cost uh, this you spend for making this app and all because we have yes. plans to make some apps so i just want to have some technical details uh, technical more and more technical this is the main project uh, for siat This is a CGR project, CGR funded project. Uh, if you have RTP, that is for uh, uh, 
that is the one program is in CGIR. Uh, if you want more information, so I will link with the senior Michael Gomez. He is the leader of this project. And also I will share, share the website, so you will get more information. Okay, sir. okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now you can go ahead with your uh, demo. demo. Yeah. yeah. So I think you can uh, you can turn up your slide. I mean you can. Um, Can unshare the slides so that you'll have a better video, I guess. Okay, one minute. Okay, now we are visible. Okay, now. So you take, uh, okay. You your app so already you are so this is the app okay so if you like the plants first i will demo it okay so take the cross section of the pseudo stem okay so take the cross section of the pseudo stem okay so you have the classification for this is the classification pseudo stem you choose first the Pseudo stem, take the image, cross section image. So then you feed on your photos, okay? Just feed it. Then you use scan. So they're never bothering about bothering about the background and all other things. Take the image. We don't have a mission. Okay. So if you skip to uh, you scan it, they will answer it. Okay, one minute I will take. Leaf. Okay. So take the image. Okay. So take the leaf. GPS very, very important. So GPS is a very very important. So location is the foremost important. It's not working. One minute. So right now the app is only limited to Tamil language, or no, do you have it in six languages: uh, Swahili, then English, then uh, then French. Okay, six international languages there. Okay, it's available in Hindi as well? No, Hindi is right now. Uh, okay. You see, you see the accuracy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Six percentage. Then you know that our plant is healthy, 96 percentage. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, immediately will give the answers. Okay, that was the thing. And also, if you take the fruits, I never cut the fruits. Okay, so I will take the fruit cross section. So, Sandomon has the bacterial wilt major problem in Africa. Okay. So, whether it's healthy or not. So, we have the classification fruit cut. So, the after harvesting, the people will know, okay, will know the healthy or not. Okay. The consumer point of view. So you take it. So, then scan it. You will tell the healthiness of the fruit. Okay. Cut fruits. This is for more internet uh, very less. Okay. So this is the thing. Okay, well, next time so, go demo what, in the field. So what is the disease in that sample, sir? I no the Sandomonas, Sandomonas uh, bacterial wilt will happen in in Africa. This will enter through the flower. Okay. Mm. And inter 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 in immature the fruit will ripen and drop out. Okay. Uh, that, this is not present in India. Okay. 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 Mm. It's, a, it's a major problem in Africa. Mm. Okay. 
people will while buying or while watching in the field it's a take one fruit they will get the slices they should know the bacteria is percent or not mm, okay from the point of view mm. so until is there okay mm. yeah so you do, you also yeah. have deduction for blood disease right sir yeah yeah uh, do you also uh, like in that case would they use their uh, flower samples yeah, yeah that flower no the blood disease will happen flower in pseudo stem leaf everywhere yeah okay yeah, it should be every it's present everywhere all the part of the plants that you uh, that they will use which which uh, which is the first uh, from where it starts first no the problem the if you infected uh, farm tools the people will cut the leaf okay are removing the pseudostem the sheath also they will remove it our intercultural operation and also the side sucker they will remove while they infected through side sucker or pseudostem or leaf part that is top at the bottom to top they will bacteria move to the xylem cells they will spread over all the body mm -hmm. and other thing through insects honey feeding insects they will carry the bacteria they will feed on the flower it will go the through flower they will affect the flowers then fruits the immaturely the fruit will drop it will go the body that is a bottom to top top to bottom so it can be uh, two different types of uh, mode of infection yes 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 okay sir one one more question so he, when you are like uh, doing the demo you turned on the gps Wh why do you have to use the gps here actually for this yes 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 we know the this this no location specific recommendation okay mm -hmm. uh, whether you are in india whether you are africa whether you are or malay australia mm -hmm. so location specifically. so why we are using the gps sometimes have yellow cicatoka in africa black cicatoka the okay. machine will choose. they won't give you answer that was the thing okay okay perfect yeah it's so very soon i think next week will the offline mode going to release mm -hmm. yeah okay, okay so thank you yeah. is the demo and everything is done too uh, this is the demo Okay. Field, field. Next time we'll do the okay. field in that Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, participants, do you have any more questions from your tape as well as any feedbacks? Uh, sir, I have another question. So, the, does this also recognize the cultivars? That is what you are going to develop in the future, or it is already there? Yeah, that is the fruit identification. Now we are doing fruit identification. We are working. Yeah, the, no, the, no, you know, India only, we are uh, cultivating different pleiades, okay, diploid, triploid, and tetraploid. For universally, there's a monopoly for gene, that's the grain they are cultivating, okay? Yes, yes, that is yeah, predominantly uh, tissue culture yeah, banana as well. That is Cavendish, Cavendish group, Cavendish, yeah. So, uh, so do you have any solution yeah. to promote uh, more of these uh, hill bananas through tissue culture medium? and uh, or uh, like shedding some light on hill bananas to mitigate the pest and disease problems through these direction methods so that yeah, it can yeah. also be brought to more cultivation and more uh, supply yeah but the farm of the, the hill banana federation they having i have i link with more than uh, you know 75 farmers at the lawyer colonies okay i go so okay. close to the farmers i am giving most of the you know lawyer police most of the farmers are educated not like our farmers so they are using my app okay sir yeah that is uh, they will use oh the bunch it up not only everywhere it is there mm -hmm. so if there are if there are any diseases specific to a specific cultivar would that also be covered uh, no the specific problem no the more oh, so you know the rastali that a b that is a rastali and AB. yeah the poo one is mostly susceptible to leaf spot okay yellow leaf spot 
Then in Rastali is mainly for highly susceptible to Visarium, Rastali hill baranas. And also G9 also is highly susceptible to Grane. But other baranas, they are very, very less resistant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So as of now, your uh, app only uh, says it, whether it is healthy or not healthy. It, uh, it won't... or not, or disease also detecting. Yeah. Okay, so it won't say anything about specific disease like uh, no, it, does disease, yeah. the, it does give the description of that. Yeah. Yes, immediately they will use the description. Okay. okay. He, has, uh, he has collected uh, samples from Xanthomonas wilt, uh, Fusarium wilt, and uh, different okay. kinds of uh, different kinds of diseases. So they will immediately detect what disease itself uh, it is the moment uh, the image is being fed. Okay. Nice. Description, symptom, and recommendation. Uh, I think it, region specifically. Yeah. Region specifically. Yeah. I'm sorry, it is going to be useful for farmers and, and that is the yeah. first necessity. We uh, yeah. that is the need of the hour first of all, yeah. and uh, it, it is, this is needed in every crop. To be honest, and this will uh, the cassava cassava having the CME major problem. Okay, cassava they did AI. Now, after that, we developed banana, but only one disease they did in cassava. That is a Nuru. Nuru is the app, the AI yeah, app. Yeah. Okay. It has a ring spot virus. No, that the cassava mosaic virus, CME. Mosaic virus, yeah. Uh, that is the first disease, only one disease they did in cassava. So we have multiple classification and multiple varieties. That's why given accuracy. Do you have any plans to extend this through state agriculture, uh, horticulture departments? Because uh, they can we, we, definitely reach this, uh, reach to many other farmers who are growing uh, banana and then they can supply these, uh, they can actually can uh, campaign on these apps to people. Now we are going to link with our app to Ulavan, Ulavan app. Yeah, we talked with our uh, DR, TNAU and NRC banana. So the smart agriculture is a major program is going on in Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu government. So we are going to link our app to Ulavan app. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, sir. So I think, um, so participant, do you have any more question? I think there are no more questions, uh, so maybe we can wind up with the uh, talk. Thanks. So, Eleven, sir, it is really a wonderful session, and okay. I'm sure it is going to be very useful for many agricultures. And I'm also like uh, the agriculture, the, the students who come from agriculture background, they yes. definitely going to get uh, like good impression, and you'll be a role model to make some artificial intelligence application in future. Yeah, the so, agriculture, biotechnology, bioinformatics, how we are for our wet lab research. Same like we can go for dry lab, that should be helpful for our yeah. farming activity. Yeah, it's really good application oriented uh, app, I guess. So I'm sure many will get a good uh, motivation from you. Yeah. So I, I'm, and I'm really happy to host you next time with a live session from the field itself. So the next time they can broadcast in your channel and we can make it in a bigger uh, audience. We'll make a brochure and we'll make it as a big audience. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yeah, th finally, thanks to LLB. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good initiative for this one. I am very much uh, interested for uh, telecasting science to everyone. Yeah. We will do nicely the good job for our farming community, also our juniors, our seniors, so everyone. Okay. Thumbs up to all our team members. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, and, you. and participants, um, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the molecular dynamic simulation. And uh, next time, we'll definitely will bring your Dr. Elia Balan, sir, from the, the live session. So we are really happy to have you the next week and also. So thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and please don't forget to give your feedback in the Telegram channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Bye bye.
real ave romba super ana app sir i wanted to use it for my field as well for lemon uh, lemon is the major crop in in my my local place maybe i'll try to have one for lemon as well okay okay you can extend to other plants as well like no, major crop is, like sugar cane uh, our team we are working with australia also lemon citrus okay yeah and also oh, okay coffee 